This laptop makes my laptop look like a toy. is the Acer Predator Helios 300 from 2019 and it's a fantastic laptop. It's extremely fast. A friend of mine got this and of course I jumped at the opportunity to review it. This is the first laptop with a 9th generation processor I have used and I have to say this laptop is great value for money. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the Helios 300 and just how fantastic and great value it is. I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts and my experience with this laptop. So yeah, let's get to it. My name is Yudi, I talk about tech, let's shoot. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's awesome having you here. So subscribe to the channel and join us. Let's shoot. So as always, let's start to the spec. I have a 2019 model which has a 15.6 inch 144Hz 1080p display, the Intel Core i7 9750H processor along with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1560Ti GPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a 256 gig NVMe SSD. This particular laptop costs $1,300 or 500,000 naira. Now, let's take a look at the port and the entire hardware. At the right side of the laptop, we have a USB Type-C port, a USB 3.2 Type-A port, a mini display port, a HDMI port, and a vent. At the back, we have two huge vents which look like an engine. On the left side, we have the consistent lock, another vent, the power port, Ethernet port, two USB 3.2 Type A port, and a 3.5 mm head audio jack. There is nothing at the front. At the top of the laptop, we have the Predator logo, which glows up and it looks cool. At the bottom, we have the speakers. Open up the laptop, we see the 1080p display and the backlit keyboard. If you haven't noticed already, it's a black laptop with blue accents. Its chassis is made out of aluminium, so aluminium on the top surface and aluminium keyboard deck with a matte finish which does attract fingerprints. But the bottom panel is made out of plastic. The edges of the laptop are quite sharp. I guess that's what gaming laptops are supposed to look like. The hinge can open up to this angle and yes, you can open the laptop with just one hand. So this laptop is very well built. Great build quality. The Helios 300 has a 15.6 IPS 144Hz 1080p display. So yes, it's a 144Hz display and wow! If you are used to a normal 60Hz screen like me, this screen is so smooth. Using this laptop with a 144Hz display, playing games on it is awesome. The screen gets reasonably bright and you won't have any complaints using this screen. Now, the keyboard. Acer equips the Helios 300 with a 6 row chiclet keyboard that is slightly recessed into the chassis. It's backlit and all the keys sit firmly in the housing and nothing rattles. Key distance and key travel is also great. Something weird about this laptop is that the power button is on the keyboard. Tapping on this key next to the numpad, you open Predator Sense. This is where you can increase the fan speed, overclock CPU and GPU and all that gaming stuff. There is also a button right above the keyboard, the turbo button. One click of this will put your laptop on high performance. Fans will be on maximum, CPU maximum, top top performance. But do know that both of these keys, the Predator Sense key and the turbo key will not work if the laptop isn't plugged in. By the way, if you are enjoying the video so far, do consider subscribing to the channel. That would be really awesome. Okay, back to the video. The trackpad is also pretty good. The whole trackpad is clickable, it's not too firm or too loose, it's good, and it uses Windows Precision Driver. Now the most important aspect of this laptop, performance. 
the Acer Helios 300 will devour anything, any app, any game you throw at it. I tested two games on this laptop, the only games I play, FIFA and PES, and they both played excellently on high settings. Let me show you some gameplay. So first, PES. This game is about 6GB and gameplay was perfect. No issues at all. I also played FIFA 19. Now this game was a lot bigger. It was about 45 gigabytes. This was set on ultra settings with higher settings and gameplay was also very smooth. Obama Young. Thiago Silva. Julian Draxler. Edison Cavani, brilliantly read, and much looking for a through ball. He's in! Rabio! Brilliant goal! He will say... I also tried some video editing on the Helios 300. I downloaded a wildlife video and imported it into DaVinci Resolve. I added all kinds of effects, videos, enhancements, some fusion tech, and this level handled it like it was nothing. So performance on this level is through the roof. Now, battery life. Battery life on the Helios 300 was decent. I So I charged the laptop to 100% and started gaming. It took about 2.5 hours, that's 2 hours 30 minutes to get to 5%, which is pretty close to 0%. But do know that the refresh rate was set to 144 Hz. So if you crave for more battery life, you can set it down to 60 Hz. Now, there's just one thing I don't like about this laptop. The charging port. It's positioned. It should be at the back so as not to cause any obstruction. And here at the left side, it's blocking the vent, which isn't good at all. And that's hot air can't be good for the charger. It would have been so much better if, the, if they put the charging port at the back. Anyway, that's it. So, even today in 2021, the Helios 300 is a fantastic deal. Great value for money. I highly recommend this app. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. And also, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, hit the notification bell so if you want the first to you know when I upload my next video. Subscribe to the channel. My name is Yudi. This is Yudi Shu. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Subscribe.